Many people are familiar with the term treason because several of our presidents have been uh, accused and usually acquitted, whether it's true or not, of treason. But does God have treason? Does the Lord's house have treason? And I believe, based on biblical reading and other sources on God, that it is true. That treason is when you try to play God in someone's life. First and foremost, you're trying to be Lord over someone's life. Treason is when you physically touch someone in the night that doesn't want you touching them ever in this lifetime. Treason is when you're not allowed to touch someone. But treason is also when you start to modify religious opportunities for someone. Treason is when you start to interfere with someone's individually owned personal private records. Treason is clearly defined as someone who is opposing American citizens. So if you're harassing someone with technology, you are committing treason under the guides of America. If you're abusing someone regularly, you are committing treason underneath the laws of America. If you are sexually assaulting someone, you are committing treason because there are laws in America that say you cannot do this. If you are molesting someone's face, taking off their beard, you are absolutely committing treason in God's house and under the laws of America. It's not just sexual misconduct. It's not just a hate crime on religion. It is totally treason. You do not own that individual. Slavery was eradicated with the war. And you are trying to put someone into slavery, which at no time in any country of at least 400 around the world is that okay. It is completely treason on your own nation and treason in America.